do we, how do you start a, a podcast like this? Oh, uh, just you know, we've with Robbie in the house. How do you even start it? Well, I mean, we've known him a while. I, I what mean, I'm actually no, I tell you what, mate, I've, no, I've no. got a problem here. We I've knew got, him. He's changed now. Look at him. He's he's a. I'm the same. I ain't changed, man. I like uh, I like the he's way just... you wear blue and white on this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What I do, what Listen, I do, man? I'm a bit I'm, I'm a bit angry. I'm a bit angry here because every single time, every single time Spurs and Arsenal play each other, I'm forced to sit next to Robbie. It was the same last year when we did the. And the, that was it, two two, wasn't it? Yeah. That's a good omen, man. That's a good omen. <laughs> so let's get this out of the way. What's happening? Is it this weekend so that okay. it's on? What, you want to do North London Derby stuff now? I feel, it feels like I'm... That's what I've been most looking forward to about the are, are you? Are you, are you feel, how are you feeling about it? Because this is, this is one of the very few times where, in terms of league form, at this stage, there's a lot, a lot of space between us. You must be a little bit, going into this game, a little bit nervous. A little bit. I'm totally nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I am so nervous about the game because it's horrible to say. Tottenham are better than us at the moment. They're, they're ahead of us. <laughs> just you know, just find that back, Adam. Play it again. <laughs> at the moment, they're ahead of us, right? Um, I'm not saying... Listen, we've still got... I still feel we've got better players. But as a team, the way they play, the performances this season, there's no denying that they've been a better team than us. And so it does worry me mm. that, you know, especially at White Hart Lane, um, they're terrible. I, I mean, we're... Sorry, they're brilliant at White Hart Lane. And um, it's a shame the game went at Wembley. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Should have been playing it at Wembley. It'd be all right. Um, I, think, I think Huddersfield would take Spurs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, at White Hart Lane, they've been good. So yeah, I'm worried. I, I am worried. But, but I was worried last year as well. You lot were playing brilliant stuff last year at White Hart Lane and it was 2-2. Yeah. So, you know, it's a North London derby, man. And the form goes out the window like they, the cliche and that. And, you know, the, every player on that field is going to be up for it. So, Jesus. But, Robbie, look, man, I'm just looking at the league table, right? And I've started off with Tottenham. Uh, yeah. For some reason, they're. Oh, my, my, my mouse is on them, so they're all lit up. So, I'm looking at Tottenham. And then I'm having to go a long way to find Arsenal, mate. Yeah, we do have three long games way. in hand. We've got three games in hand. But, seven. Let, okay, yeah. Seven. Yeah, seventh place is not good enough. I mean, it's been a very, well, think, very. Yeah. It's been a poor season for Arsenal. There's well, no denying it. Well, Rob, actually, you've got so you've got one game in hand on Tottenham. So if you win that game in hand, assuming you do, then you've got then you're eleven points behind them. Yeah, we're you miles know? off Tottenham. So this whole mind the gap thing, this whole St. Totten- Tottenham's day, it's not my business. I'm just an innocent bystander. We had, we had a question from. Fred. Is this the time? Do you think? Is this the one? Is it? Is it going to happen this year? They started the mind the gap thing. Yeah. Tottenham started the mind the gap thing, right? Let me just tell you that, right? They started it, right? Yeah, I'm not denying that. Just because, you know, listen, it. Could be, or it probably is going to be. I said this last year, actually, and we still managed to get finished. <laughs> yes. so we got a but, question from Fred, THFC99. He says, what are you doing to celebrate St. Tottenham's Day this year? Oh, I don't think I'm going to be celebrating it this year because um, I don't think it's going to happen it's this year. It's a silly thing, though, isn't it? It's a bit childish. No, it's so all right, it's actually. Tot- Tottenham's Day. It's, no, it's, it's a good fun, laugh, man. It? It's a good yeah, laugh. It's, it's fun. A good like, laugh. Football it's should be fun. As long as they're having fun, yeah. You're right. always good. I mean, you lot would do it. If you was constantly Wait. finishing above us, you would do it as well. Robbie, here's my guarantee to you. I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna let this pass by without comment. What? Wait when, on a minute, you can't say can we put up his tweet that he did? Did you see his tweet the other day? No. <laughs> he said I'm gonna let this pass by. He got in drunk the other night and his tweet said Adam, what did it say? You Mind know. Mind the fucking gap, you slags. Mind the fucking Go. gap, you slags. In capitals. There you go, yeah, you're going to let it pass. But you know what, it's the, it's no, the I've one... Done, I've had my fun, I've done. Like, I'm yeah, not, I'm but the thing is about it, it could still end up the season with them finishing, all right, above us. Mm. But we could still have a trophy and they've got nothing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so, true. you know, um, listen. Yeah, that and it's once sick. in, what, 20 odd years? You that know would what be... What, that what, would... Since... When was the last time we finished above us? You know what I mean? It was like in the 70s. You know what I mean? That, but you're only as good on. as your last season. Right? <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows well, that. Absolutely. It's a no. bad, it's been a poor season for Arsenal. Yeah, it has. Um, a very, very poor season. Tottenham have been a better team than us. We've got to admit it. Um, it's horrible to admit. And it means that it shows that we really need to get our act together at Arsenal. Mm. You know, it's just not been good enough. No. 
All right, yeah. one, one other thing. Le, uh, Lafarge, uh, just so it's a little bit even and it ain't just an insult on you. Mm. Uh, he says, Robbie asked Flab, I'm pretty sure that was uh, <laughs> a typo, but I put on a little bit of timber. Uh, how does it feel to fail again at the FA Cup? And can Arsenal do, do it versus Chelsea? Well, and if so, what formation would they play? You, you t- started playing the uh, back three, didn't you? Three at the back. It, it, was, it was very funny to see you lot flop at Wembley. I'm sure it was. I mean, sure what, what is it? Well, you, you can't play at Wembley and you might have to play there all next season. I know. Yeah, what no, is it up? No, yeah. I'm genuinely worried about both. I mean, we, we can't. That said, we can't play at Wembley. We we were a better team against mm. Chelsea. We played well. You, they just were clinical, so clinical. You, you know, you know what it is, right? You, I, I think we saw what, why Chelsea are so good in the yeah. fact that like, I was looking at a game. You do play well, and you had like ten corners, eleven, yeah, and they yeah. eleven corners. Yeah, they one. just dealt with every one, yeah. and they had one corner. And you say you're the better team, but. I mean, You've matter. got to be a defend as well, and it's for me the defending was poor. Nobody yeah. picked up Hazard, yeah. one of the most and dangerous the penalty, players the in pen- the world. Son on that penalty, like that was yeah. Just, but yeah. nobody picked up Hazard, one of the most the most dangerous players in the world, yeah. on the edge of the box, and he just banged it in. I, I mean, Conte that's such a... that's poor play by that's poor play by mm. um by Spurs, mm. you know. It was, so and they punished us. Uh, yeah, we we've had a bit of that because there is a you know we hate the what. He's got anti football, or it became like parking the bus. Yeah. And it's, Who are we talking or, about? Huddersfield. Well, I'm talking about football in general, the smash okay. and grab. Yeah. Like, um, but yeah, Huddersfield, we play quite t- expansive attacking mm. football. But ultimately, we there's a few teams that play as right, like Sheffield Wednesday have done it, Newcastle did it at our place, where they just sat back, let us have the ball, and then just hit us on the back. <laughs> Welcome to our world, yeah, Arsenal. Because we're great going forward. We're <laughs> that's just, the last world. 10 years at Arsenal. That's what yeah, it's been. That's true. Um, Chelsea which are masters are, of that. Yeah, yeah. Which is kind of refreshing to see how we played in that semi final. In that we, this is one of the things I've been moaning about with Arsenal. We kind of try to go toe to toe with every team. Yeah. It's almost like sometimes like an arrogance. Like, you yeah. know what? We'll go toe to toe with you by a minute. And they're like, all right, we're better than you. We'll, we'll batter you. Yeah. What we should have done against Bayern Munich is sort of what we did against City the other day, where we went free at the back, we went a bit more defensive, said to them, you can have a lot of the possession and we'll catch mm. you, because we are very good on the counter. Yeah. And it worked against City, and I think that might be a tactic that we might do against Tottenham as well. Mm. I don't think you can go to White Hart Lane at the moment and just go toe-to-toe with them. You mm. know, the way they're playing, yeah. it's kind of, they've kind of got an electric vibe there at the moment, you know, and last you'll North get London derby at the place. Last Lon- North London derby. I I don't think. But I think if we go there, discipline free at the back, catch you on the counter. Listen, we got players as well. Like you know, yeah, that, not, can, not, that not, can hurt you. I so don't, I don't look. There's not Spurs fans ain't walking around going Arsenal are shit. We're gonna smash them. We're, they are. Everyone, there is there was a lot of them walking around like that. <laughs> yeah. They are. Well, to the, know until the semi final, there was a lot of you like Mate, walking that around. Was, like it's bravado. It's part of winding you up, but. I think deep down everyone knows Arsenal are a dangerous team. You know, they are. They are it's gonna be team. it's gonna be a good game. As I said, you know, you lot are the favourites. Um, yeah, I mean you know, but second in the league now. You're the favourites, favorites. you've been really good at home. But, you know. What? I just said, <laughs> oh, it's it's kinda we it's the kind of thing that happens to you guys, you know what I mean? When it's all set up to be good. Yeah. You know, Can't last game, <laughs> last North London derby, something like that. I we can't. just go there and we just I know, it's, ruin that. You know what I mean? I, I, it is. You'll finish above them in the league. They'll win the FA Cup. They'll beat you. Uh, they'll beat you at your place. You'll, they'll, you'll still finish above them, but that victory will be hollow because of these nasty <laughs> bad things. I'd rather, I'd rather. I think I'd rather beat them at White Hart Lane in the last game than than. I mean, finishing above them, we can do that again. We can't lose. This is the one. No, 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 no. You won't do it again. This is the only time you're going to do it next season. You know. Hang on. Uh, Everything, Rob. You listen, know, mate. gravity. I know will you've, be you've restored. Had, you've had twenty you know I mean? years of the same manager, right? Mm. He is the key. I'm not saying. Oh, I think it's probably time for him to go. But he is the key to to achieving um, the the sense of, uh, of of security you have in your own team. The minute you start chopping, changing managers, you're just any other football club, like Man United. No, it depends who. Listen, if we did change manager, it depends who you get. Eddie Howe. It depends. Well, well, no, no, thanks. Why not? No, because he's just not. It's, that's a massive job, and to step into those shoes after Arsene Wenger, yeah. the person who comes in next has got to be someone of the stature of an Allegri yeah. or a Simeone. It's, it's got to be people like that. It's, it's, someone like Simeone, man. No it's someone, got to be. There's definitely no guarantee. I mean, they're going to miss out on the top four this year. So even with Wenger, there's no guarantee. But you're right. I do think when you 
when there's a, a culture that's been held together like that for so long, it's a massive change. That that transition can can mean a, a yeah, lot. Yeah, listen, could, people people, the other way, people always talking about people always saying, "Oh, Man United, you could be like Man United." Man United are where they are because they made the wrong choice mm. when they got rid of. How can you replace Fergie with David Moyes? You know, you've got to bring in was... somebody of a you know similar stature. You know, if they'd have bought Mourinho in after yeah, yeah, Fergie, yeah. they wouldn't be in the position. But they also chased it, man. They, they it was, that was the window where they went and bought a Di Maria, Falcao, and they started chasing yeah. it, and just handing out money. Yeah. And they've never they've never recovered from that. Look at their mm. their wage bill now must be so out of control compared to what it was when Fergie was there. When it must have been fairly they, tight. Yeah, they have the, high, the highest wage bill in in the world. There you go. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I just you know. I'm not going to pedal out the be careful, be careful what you wish for because you've heard it a million times before. But um, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> listen, you can, listen, you can say <laughs> there, there, there is an element of that. Be careful what you wish for because Arsene Wenger has been a brilliant manager. Um, but also another word that you can use is never be scared of change as well mm. because you know you, you, you can be in a comfort zone. So we could be in a comfort zone with Arsene Wenger where we think well he always gets us top four or finals and things like this. But sometimes you have to come out of that comfort zone in order to move on again. So, listen, um, D -D -T -T. he has been a fantastic manager. He's been brilliant. and He's been so consistent. Even in this season, that's been so bad, right? We're still in the FA Cup final. Right? I mean, I suppose, you know, when you look on it, you know, we, I've got so much respect for him because, you know, to still be able to pull that off. Well, in, the, saying, in this bad season. <clears throat> what I'm saying, though, is, is I'm not saying you won't be able to replace Wenger with another manager like Allegri or Simeone, but these managers don't stay around for yeah, very long. And they're never going to have the, that. Yeah, you're right. You, this transition, every club's in a state of transition almost constantly, mm. and it's very unsettling. It's hard to kind of... You, you've almost... I, I'm, not, I'm not even saying that Arsenal fans are not acutely aware of what Arsenal, Arsenal Wenger's done. They are, but it's a different... It's a different feeling supporting a club not knowing if next season the manager is even going to be there. I think Pochettino will be at Spurs for a while, but I can't guarantee you that he's even going to be there next year if mm. the right club comes along for him. I don't if, a Real, know. if a Real Madrid or a Barcelona comes along, he goes, isn't it? I mean, that's, it's as simple well, he, as that. So. He said Real Madrid might be one thing, but not not Barcelona because of his mm. links with Espanyol. He said he could never manage. He said he also said he could never manage Arsenal. Who said this, sorry? Pochettino. Pochettino. Mm. Yeah, so they said what if Barcelona it's, came in? I, I was thinking about this. Sol um, Campbell said he'd never come to Arsenal. Mm. I, I was thinking about the... Um, <laughs> sorry, I had to get that in there. I, I was thinking about the Arsenal thing, though, and because it, it is... I can't help but feel like everyone points and the, and the whole conversation is about Wenger. Um, and I'm not an expert on Arsenal's history. I don't know all the names. I don't look at it. This is just kind of idly observing from afar. Um, it just feels to me that there's been a whole host of these situations where the club has failed to deal with it and they've almost just let things kind of happen and go on. And, and, and so correct me if any of these are wrong, but I'm thinking like the transfers of people like Fabregas um, to Van Persie to maybe even Henri. There was a whole thing where there's been people that have been captains of the club and it's almost like they've been able to hold the club <coughs> to ransom and it's almost like the club hasn't dealt with it until the last minute. I remember when you sold, was it RVP? Right at the last minute, mm -hmm. you hadn't given yourself opportunity to, to maybe replace him. And it kind of feels that this whole Wenger thing again, like I know now you're in the cup final, brilliant, but that was quite fine margin the game the other day. You could easily have lost that game to City mm -hmm. and then it's, all, it's a disaster then and probably people are going mad mm. again. But how much do you think that this is all down to? Like, it, it, Am I right that there's quite a, a cycle of Arsenal, the football club, not dealing with shit quickly enough and managing yeah. it? Because Man United in their day, for players, he'd have been like, right, get out, you're sold, off you go, I want to bring in and get my business done. Whereas you guys, it always seems to be that you've got some drama yeah. overhanging the club structure and these of the club. can have a big impact on then what happens yeah. on the pitch and, and, and the mood we, of the fan base yeah the structure of the club is is I don't think it's right we should have like a director of football or sporting director who's buying the players that's what all the other top clubs right. around Europe do Arsene Wenger has too much control in my eyes and again we've seen it this year I mean I remember at the start of the season I had an interview that I did with this football agent um, he's a big football agent mm. and he said right then at the start of the season he goes I see a big problem at Arsenal in that there's lots of players 
that have only got 18 months left on their contract. Mm. And he goes, it's going to be a big problem. And he was completely right. Mm. We got Oxlade Chamberlain, Alexis, Mesut Ozil, Giroud, he signed now, but Giroud, you know, there's about Jack Wilshire, all these players with 18 months left. Now, they shouldn't be running yeah. down to 80 months, these yeah. sort of players. They, Lose the leverage they, completely. Yeah, yeah and, and that's what's Conviction happened. So one way or the other. Now, guys like Ozil, guys like Alexis, Oxalate chamberlain they've got options. You know what I mean? They mm. don't have to re -sign. They can stay to watch what happens till the end of the season. Is the manager coming? Is he going? That's been another bit of uncertainty. Yeah. There's, there's a real lack of leadership at the top of a club. I yeah. mean, there's nobody who's really come out even with everything that's been going on, Wenger's had to take all the flack. Wenger's had to take all the stick yeah. for the players, for the board. For You never hear anything from the owner of the club, Stan mm. Kroenke. Never hear anything. You know, and you just think to yourself, there's a, there's a, a vibe around the fans that he can't be bothered. You know what I mean, he's not interested. And it does appear that way because yeah. you just never, ever hear Rob, anything Kroenke, from those guys. Kroenke, he's, he's the owner of the football club, yeah? Yeah. So at Spurs, we don't, we don't hear anything from um, the geezer who's in, uh, the geezer based in the Bahamas. You hear from Daniel Levy, he's yeah, the chairman. Yeah, but Daniel Levy in, is a very is, vocal... In, 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 but he's a, a chairman, he's not Cronky. Right. Who's your chairman? So we, we have a CEO, which is um, Ivan Gazidis. Yeah, um, we him. also have, we got Sir Chips Keswick, who's like chairman. But you don't really hear nothing from these guys. It's always Arsene Wenger fronting yeah. up. Yeah. At your club, it will be Levy. You've also got a sporting director that buys players and things like that. It's a different system. We yeah. did, but, it's, but I know what you're you saying. Know, you whereas with now. us, Arsene Wenger does everything. If there's something that needs to be said yeah. to the message to get across to everyone, he'll do it. If his players to be bought, he does it. If he's, he's doing too much, mm. you know. Sounds and I like think me that, at Wall Street. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the whole structure of the club, <laughs> structure of the club's wrong. You know, I think you know it worked. Back in the day, especially yeah. when David Dean was there, he's such a but, uh, but strong character. Back in the day. He, David Dean, David Dean was exactly like Levy is now. Yeah, uh, he's the thing, man, right? But now you just look at it and you just say, this whole season it's been a mess. Why didn't somebody come out? I feel weeks ago, and just say, with the whole thing on Arsene Wenger, just say something. Yeah, he's our man. He's staying. Yeah. Or is leaving at the end of the season. How can you have a or, manager? Or, or even, like, have they even come out and said something like, until the end of the season, Arsene Wenger's the manager and we'll be reviewing They've just come out, like, they've just come out that? and said, they, they've just come out and said, we'll make it, we understand fans are a bit frustrated, but we'll make a mutual decision, we're going to make a mutual decision on it and we'll let you know when the time, time's right, right, which is very condescending. But why doesn't somebody come out, somebody up there's got to have the balls to come out and say, right, listen, he's not our man no more. And he's leaving at the end of the season. Well, and if that was the case, he would have got a great. Man. He would have got a great send off. If he is the man, then come out and say so. What's, yeah. Why is everyone hanging? Yeah. Come out and say he's our man. He's staying, right? Mm. And we just want everyone to get behind him. And then you know what? Even those people that are against him, at some stage, are going to have to say, "Yo, oh, you know what? What's the point? Mm. He's staying. I think we just need to." So get get behind the manager now, and it, you know, I mean, at, yeah. at some stage, it'll every get every company, every newspaper, every every uh, organization, when they've got some news that's potentially contentious, they will plan the best time for it to be released. And back a month ago, that was literally the worst time they could say that Wenger signed. My theory, this is what I think, right, is that Wenger has signed already a two-year deal. They're mm. waiting for it where they're doing like damage limitations because as, as a football club and as a business. They understand that Wenger's a very good person to have what? in charge, not as a fan. Mm. But yeah. what do they wait? FA Cup win. They win the FA Cup. FA but we Cup can't win. Oh, oh they should have just waited for the general election. <laughs> just stuck it for yeah. do, it, do, it, do it the same day as the general election yeah, result. But you can understand from yeah. their perspective why that would happen. Because no, I don't, un I don't understand. No, no. Because to me, you've got to come out and you've got to just make... If you are backing the manager, then back him publicly. What are you trying to hide for? Back in public, because the, with all the uncertainty you've seen that it's affected the team and their performances, the fan base has been divided. Mm. Somebody mm. up above there needs to show a bit of leadership and come out and say, you know what, we've heard all the stuff about, but for, for us, if, if he has signed a new contract for us, we've signed a new deal, he's our man, we're going to back him in yeah. the summer. 
we know things have been hard, but we want everybody now to get behind him. And I, I, I'm being honest with you, I do believe, not everybody, there's still going to have some fans that would still be against it, but there'd be a big percentage of those fans that would just say, you know what, after a while they're going to be like, you know what, we're going to have to get on with it. He's going to be here next season, mm. so we need to get on with it now. And let's, you know, yeah, but when it's all hanging and it's uncertain, you've got people thinking, well, it's still up in the air at the moment, so let's fly a plane over. Saying that you know we we want him to go. Um, one thing I heard the what other day, a, f- a fan a fan that? was telling me the other day. <laughs> so shit in it. Fans love it. Listen, a fan was telling me. Check this one out. And this is even worse. A fan was telling me the other day that apparently somebody might even stand against Jeremy Corbyn for, uh, um, in the election, under the like out. under the Wenger out banner or something. <laughs> You've had people around the world with. I just think that all of that would be gone yeah. if it was cleared up because there's there's going to come a point where people are going to be like, there's no point. He's mm. going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just, you know, we're just going to have to go yeah. with what we've got. I think you're right. But but again, it's, that's just what they do all the time. Now, another thing is that, because you talk about a manager that's say that's been there for this many years with, like, how many years? 100? 20. 120. Uh, <laughs> 20 years. Uh, and he, so he's been there re- a long time. And I, the world, do you think how much the world's changed I know. in that 20 years? Like the internet wasn't even really a yeah. thing, you know what mm. I mean? Like never mind social media and, and, and the nuances of, of, of that beast. Yeah. No YouTube, just, no, no, nothing yeah, exactly. like that. Really. But, but you look at the, um, you look at the fan. So, so you look at the players and I remember a couple of people like Roy Keane or people like that, I forget who exactly, had come out a while ago, it's Arsenal's selfie culture. They're more interested in taking selfies and doing this than playing football. And at the time it looked like old sort of out of touch pundit kind of saying this dinosaur type comment yeah. it looked a bit like that however I also do feel that with the Arsenal players that there's a they do look like they have a really good time the commercial side of the club seems to be that they do quite involved stuff with players and with brands and stuff it, it feels that they're I don't know that they've lost uh, a little bit there it's not just this. Arsenal though to be fair no, that's every right. club that's every club. You're right, but I just don't understand now. I, I don't know. I, I just feel that I, I do things think have that, got a little bit out of control and yeah. they've lost the focus. It's not only Arsenal who do selfies. You know True. what I mean? Like every every team you see win a game, do quite a you see selfies in the change rooms and that. It's not it's not just the Arsenal players. Yeah, that's, that's true. It's, it's, yeah, if Roy Keane or a lot of those... Old, maybe, not, maybe not Roy. <laughs> maybe not Roy Keane, actually. But yeah. a lot of those other players that say that, If like I heard Rio Ferdinand saying that, mm. right? about self and I was like come on Rio if you was around now in this age right yeah. of Twitter and all that you would have been all over yeah. it that's well, what well, I he was he used to do his has to stay on his yeah, feet, so, which he'd try and get mentioned which he'd get his audience yeah, to be so aware I'm, I'm like come on Rio even though Rio was like a top professional and I was sure he would still have been a top professional but he would have been all over social yeah. media so I, we've, moved, we've, we've moved just away from something a question that I think it's quite important to ask because I still don't know <coughs> quite, what, what, where Robbie's at right you, everyone, you give everyone an opinion, right? You, yeah. And you give your opinion on lots of things, right? But I just want you to answer three things for me, right? <laughs> One, is it time for him to go? Two, mm. will, will, no, I will, you can go, Sa- will Sanchez leave? And three, will Ozil leave? Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Is it time for him to go? It? Um, is it time for him to go? You could just go, yes, no, no, or something like that if you want. Yes, no, no. <laughs> right. No, no, but you. Go. So you're saying that yes, Arsene Wenger will go. No. Is it time for him? To, is it time for him to go? Yeah. You know what? I'm, because I ask so many fans that question. Yeah. I don't really want to answer that myself at the moment. I, I, I sort of. You got to answer it eventually. Because you've been asked this question about uh, how many times you've been asked. Listen, this listen. All right. I, He's been here a very long time, right? And this season, if I'm being honest, right, it has appeared that he has been stale, mm-hmm. right? Now, for me, unless he makes drastic changes next season, right, I see a massive... If he does stay on, unless he makes big changes, and I've seen, you know, the past couple of weeks, he had three at the back, for instance. We always play the same formation every single game, and everyone's been like, why don't you try something different? Mm-hmm. Past couple of games, he has tried something different. And so that's a good sign for me that if he does stay, I want to see him do different things. He needs to bring in other people to help him out. I think if he continues on exactly how he's done it 
this season. <laughs> this is hilarious. Then, then I would say, give him the most avoided of the most roundabout avoiding of a question. I'm not avoiding the question. I'm giving you an honest answer. If he continues <laughs> I can't on, can't even work it out what you're saying now. So I'll, I'll break it down. Exactly <laughs> right. If he continues on exactly like he is right now, I think it's time to go because he that would you'd say he becomes stale yeah. and he's not open to change. If he's gonna stay, you have to change things. You have to get with modern times. You have to. Mm bring in people to help you with transfers. You, you have to bring in yeah. a coach that's going to help you Robert, with defending. You, you, you have to bring in maybe even a number two, new number two. That's what Fergie always did. Fergie kept himself relevant because he always changed his number two. Mm. New ideas, new someone else whispering in your ear. If he changes those things, maybe he could still do it again. But if not, maybe the time's up. You're undecided. Alexis Sanchez, up. Uh, who knows if he'll stay? They've made him a massive offer. Massive, massive offer. 300k or something. Um, yeah, you know, I heard it's up towards that. Yep. Yeah. He's a massive life change. I heard it's life changing sums is what I was told at wow. the time. Um, and I look at it and I think, from what I've heard at Arsenal, they're not going to sell him to any other British club. They're adamant of that. Mm. They'd rather let the contract run down than send him to yeah. City you're or giving, United or, giving, or Chelsea. You're giving them the right? So, um, I mean, if then, Spurs bought him, you not, can't afford that, man, right? And, we would win the league, Nick. <laughs> you probably would. You know would. what? I wouldn't even want right? him. <laughs> you would want him. Would, he, would he get in? You would want him. Right? Oh, yeah, would he get in? He might what do you mean, would he get, get in? What bench. are you talking about? He'll get on our bench, mate. He see, would. this is what I could... Yeah, see? Keeps him fresh would he get 20 in? Minutes. What, what, what does that Ericsson's got, got more assists than anyone else in Europe? Well, you think Ericsson's better than Alexis? I'm, I'm all on. I'm just Do saying. You think on form, is, he is might not Ericsson get into the team better than Alexis? I'm just saying on form. Is Ericsson which, better than Alexis? Look, guys, I'm, I'm, I, it doesn't matter what I. The think, guy is right? one of the best players in the world. Even even Pep Guardiola said last week. He said, underneath, he goes underneath um, Messi and Ronaldo. He's in that next layer. Just saying, he'll like struggle Alexis, to get in the team. Neymar, but it's, listen. He wouldn't struggle to he'd get have to, He'd have to start on the bench. He'd at walk least. straight in, be the who's, first who's, name on the team. He is, he, is, he, is, he, is, he is an amazing player for Sanchez. You've got to be clearly. aware of uh, the audio actually experience for okay. audio. audio. And but, the last but, one, Mesut Ozil, I think will stay. I, sorry, I, I think was going to ask, has Deli Ali's got better stats than uh, our goals returned than, than uh, Sanchez? Yeah. Yeah. Because Deli Ali scores goals, doesn't he? He really does. Stats don't lie. Decent player. <laughs> no, no, no. So, so go on, Ozil. Yeah. I think Ozil will stay. Um, and I was going to say with Alexis, right, is that if they don't send him to any other UK club, then his options... Quite limited. Juventus, maybe, do they need Alexis? Because they've kind of got a lot of, you know, good player. Bayern Munich, but do they need Alexis? So I don't know if his options, if yeah. he's got loads of... Paris Saint-Germain, I suppose, is the one that they may take him. Yeah. But, you know... I guess they always have to appease. Why go to Paris Saint-Germain when you can stay at Arsenal and be the number one? But then, having said that, we have to match his ambition. The guy's an ambitious player. He wants to win things. Can we, as a team, this is why I'm saying, it's going to be a big summer for Arsenal. If we don't match the ambition of a guy like that, he'll go. And I don't blame him for going because he wants to win things. He's one of the best players around. Mm. Do you think that he, he wants to leave because of Arsenal Fan TV? <laughs> <laughs> it's an A. I'm joking. Let's he loves Arsenal fan TV. He does. Of course he does. How can you not personally think him? But so we've got a question here about about um, Arsenal fan TV, the influence in the club. I mean, we we've had you on this. How many times you've done this podcast now? We like twice, right? Twice. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah. three times. I this think. is the third, I think. Yeah, because I think well, every time we like played first other, ones, yeah. but. Um, <laughs> Every time it's a North London derby, I'm here. Um, and obviously, God, man, we can't not mention the fact that it's... I mean, you guys have been growing and, and building mm. for for years, like since we met. I mean, I forget how many subs you'd have had back then when we first met. It might have been like 30,000, 20,000. Yeah, it was yeah, early, yeah, wasn't you it? Know, uh, we met early, man. I mean, yeah. A long time. And Ball it's, Street when you guys was over in the Soho office. That's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, well, it's it, a long time, man. It is a long, a long time. time. And you guys have been, you know, growing and growing and mm. growing and growing and growing. And um, but people, it's gone pop now, hasn't it? To mm. the stage where everybody knows about it. Like mm. it's, it's almost become a household name. Mm. Like the amount of people, like a year ago, not many, but now, like just when I'm passing around, people will mention it or you know, or 
it's just everywhere now mm. and, and it kind of wasn't so I think now a lot of people are looking at Arsenal Fan TV and going oh look at it you guys are really successful are, your, are you doing this for the right reasons mm. and there was obviously the, the, the fracas the altercation whatever it was that happened mm. a couple of weeks ago some people coming in your face are going money maker so what yeah, you know, we we can't not talk mm. about that, can we? Yeah, because yeah. it's you know we've been uh, we're aligned with your journey. Mm. We've been you know working together closely for a number of years now, uh, and that's something. Nobody that used to run in my face and say you're broke. Yeah, they didn't, <laughs> did they? I mean, that, that is the thing. <laughs> you're it's, broke. It's only just now that people wear like broke maker. You, you, you know what I mean? You're stupid. You're using yeah. all your money to try and build up Arsenal yeah. fan TV. Wrong you're you idiot. Go, you're gonna go home and edit this all night, <laughs> you dickhead. <laughs> But it's n- now that they see that your mm. your name's out there, now that they see that it's a thing and, and that people are talking about you, now people are coming to you and, and, and saying the odd thing like that. Mm. Um, can you just reflect on that for us and, and just let us know? Yeah, you know, it is very frustrating for me like to hear things like that because we built this thing, and you know, Matt, because mm. you've, been, you've been on a journey. You've seen us, right, from the beginning. We built it with no money. We've, like two guys who are working full-time jobs we put all our money into it all our effort all our time you know I've said this before on other things I haven't even been on holiday for four years you know I mean I put everything into this right to try and build it and listen now we're starting to make a little change and and people think you're like I'm on some millionaire status I'm nowhere near that it's just starting to make a bit of money you know what I mean and People will be like having a go and, you know, some, well, I say people, some people will be having a go. And it is frustrating because, listen, we we love Arsenal Football Club and we've been trying to grow this as a, um, a platform. So it was very frustrating what happened. Um, but, listen, I then I kind of then look at it in another way and think, well, I suppose it goes with the territory a bit. When you're growing, as you're starting to get bigger, you know, you're going to get some of this sort of stuff. So, you know, I, I, I've just sort of looked on it and said, yeah, I have to accept that side of it as well. You're yeah. going to get some comes with negative... The territory, comes it? with the territory. You're going to get some negativity. You know, this has been a really traumatic season for Arsenal. Um, it's been our worst ever season mm. um, since we've been at the Emirates. And fans have been really, really frustrated. And sometimes you see some fans and it's almost like they're looking for a scapegoat. Yeah. So... Whether it be a player, whether it be Arsene Wenger, whether it be the board, whether it be, you know, somebody who's held up a banner, whether it be whoever. Yeah. Sometimes that scapegoat is us, Arsene Fan TV. Yeah. Oh, you lot, why are you being negative towards the club? I had a fan the other day, um, which was really <laughs> we, we played at Crystal Palace and like, um, you know, we had that horrible defeat there, another one. And uh, loads and loads of fans at that game were singing. I'd say 90% of the fans were singing that night to the players. You're not fit to wear the shirt. Yeah. Right? Very vocal. Yeah. Right? And then we're coming out, you know, we're outside the ground now, interviewing a few fans, and a guy walks past me and he says, why are you speaking to people that are going to be negative? I'm like, 90% of the people were just inside there, on TV, singing to the players, you're not fit to wear the shirt. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want us to do now? Let's, yeah. everybody who comes on to Arsenal Fan TV, I'll, let, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's pretend that it didn't happen. Yeah. Let's be happy so we can paint a nice picture of the club. Yeah. It's ridiculous. That's not what we do, no. right? We are there. We're an honest channel. Just like in the semi final, when we won that game now, you saw happy fans. That's how it is. You well, know what I mean? I guess, so, I guess they you know, ask what they want. Is they would want you just not to do it, they want you to go away. Well, Some we're not going to go away. We're, we're no, not you're gonna, asking what they want. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah, and and what I've also realised that that's a tiny minority of people, mm. and that's their opinion. And you know what, I respect that. If you don't like what we do, that's fair enough. But we're doing it right, and you know, and as I said, you can't ignore things. You can't ignore that there are some fans that have been very unhappy with Arsene Wenger. So pe- when people say to me, "Oh, well, you know, you've got too many fans on there talking negatively about the club." I would love to have more people come on and be a bit more positive, but if there's not as much positive to talk about, yeah. or if you can't find people that are being positive at the moment, you can only reflect what is going on mm. at the moment. And the, re- the well, mood of the club this season, without Arsenal fan TV, if we didn't even exist, yeah. you would know there. that it's been bad. 
It's been negative. Yeah. It's been frustration. You would have heard it on 606. You would have heard it on Talk Sport. Yeah. You would have read it in the newspaper. So it's, I think this it's, thing that is Arsenal fan TV spreading negativity yeah. is absolute It is crap. ridiculous. I mean, I think the people are losing a bit of perspective uh, it's around, ridiculous. around this Arsenal fan TV thing. I mean, you've been growing steadily really from the start and that's mm. and you've been growing not because of anything to do with the results but because it's consistency yeah and we're there because, at every game and because people like people like things like goggle box people like to see people's opinions people like to see people being passionate or sad or or happy or from, we like these human emotions mm. and we like to see them in other people so Arsenal fan tv you know what it is to me the way i see it is just it's arsenal told through um through the lens of a few different fans mm. and it's you guys giving your opinions yeah, on well, you know, and, and actually there's lots of lot, I mean I've even been on it I once went to a game and was on an interview on it I didn't go viral you know what I mean because I probably don't have anything I don't say something in, in a particularly good way or I had nothing actually to say or people aren't are mm. invested in my character like they have in Ty or, or, or DT or any of these guys but the thing is is you you don't pick the results it's not like you're at home going, right, we're going to lose today. Amazing. You're not picking it. All you're doing is, is, is essentially watching it. And you're I had a guy the other day on another podcast, right? Um, Loz on that podcast, uh, uh, True Geordie's podcast. Okay. I like I like True Geordie, right? But that guy Loz, it's like guys obsessed. <laughs> trying to say that it's almost like we're the result. It's because of us that there's, the cl- there's negative negativity yeah. towards the club. I'm like, mate, what are you talking about? We're at every single game. I don't know how many games he goes to. I don't think he, I, I doubt he goes to a game. No. But he's got a lot of talk about it. But I can tell you one thing. Yeah. We're at every game. I was there this season. I was at the pre-season friendlies. Yeah. Right, in LA, Norway, Sweden, and every single Arsenal game, home and away, Europe, whether we win, whether we lose, League Cup, FA Cup, we're there. Mm. Right? Whether... If we if we play a game and it's a boring nil nil draw where yeah. you're hardly going to get any views, right? Because the views will be down because it's a nil nil game and there's not a lot of talking points or whatever. We're still there. We're still interview fans. We yeah. still talk yeah. about it. Like you said, we're consistent. This little myth that we're there trying to chase some big hype to, is absolute yeah. rubbish. We follow Arsenal every single game. So for people like that, if they're going to have a lot of mouth about it, yeah. I want to see you. I think he's a Liverpool fan. Let's see you at Liverpool games. Yeah. Then maybe you can come and start telling me and lecturing yeah. me about football. But until then, I, I think it's worth saying as well. It's not just the games and the results, is it? Because actually, what you do is you supply Arsenal fans with their fix on Arsenal, whatever's happening. If there's an event going mm-hmm. on, you'll go there and you'll speak to people at the event. I've seen you even take time. You come and speak to us about stuff. You mm. come and do videos with us. If students are doing wanting to do interviews to talk to you about Arsenal yeah, we've done all that. anything, you you do all these things. I do. I, so I do. It, listen, we if, reach out and it, do. Yeah, if you were just turning up when it was a bad result, or even just the results, but every single thing to do with Arsenal Football Club, pretty much you are there, and you have been consistently doing this for four years or five four years, years or, or yeah. however however long it is, and I think that right now you look at it and Arsenal have got a season whereby there's a fan base that have been used to winning and kind of are a little bit like panicked at the thought of finishing below it's frustration it's just a lot and they're frustrated Matt, it's frustration and right? I think that a few of these but a few of these things are actually mm. are almost chemicals that are making it kind of go off and explode but I, th- I think honestly that people are just losing their perspective mm. it's frustration listen you see your fans if you, if you any football fan will tell you sometimes you go at games right you see fans and you've had a really frustrating, or you're going for a frustrating time. Sometimes I've seen fans do ridiculous things like just punch the wall mm. or kick seats. And I think to myself, what are you doing, mate? Yeah. But they're so frustrated. You don't know what football does to you sometimes. I saw, I saw stuff at Wembley on, on Sunday. We, we, we went in losing and uh, there was um, the fucking television that we were watching was stuck on the loop on Williams. <laughs> like the, seat, the, the free kick that's just torture and people were like you've got to turn that off like this is too much and they, they start flipping they're just like nearly arrest me and everything but um, what I would just say right Rob uh, and I appreciate everything you said and no less uh, do you deserve to do what you need to do or you feel you want to do because you do go every game you know that is mm. a, that is ultimately the marker of what a 
a good supporter is. Yeah. I don't do that, so I, I, mm. I don't consider myself less a supporter for, than the ones that do, but historically in football, you go yeah. home and away, you pretty much... Yeah, you don't have to go to every game to, to, you know... No, I know that's not but, what you're saying, that's, mm. what, that's what the, mm. the stereotypical view of the best kind of fan is. Mm. But when Arsenal lose, you can understand why some Arsenal fans think, we don't want that amplified, we don't mm. want that message amplified, because it's painful. Mm. Like, I wouldn't want four million people looking at my fans going mad after just got done by Chelsea because it's like it's just, it's like a knife in the heart do you know what I mean mm. so you can understand where from that perspective where some so of what the do you do? so I'll tell you what to do here on, on Saturday mm. when you guys when, when Spurs lost to Chelsea right I should put my head in the sand to, should, should Tottenham should Tottenham turn around and go to a match of the day and say oh don't show our game tonight because we don't want no one to see that we lost no I, I get that people will that, 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 that if you're there message. and you're if you're there and you're doing something consistently every game, yeah, yeah? You, I know you're going to get good and bad. Right, you got to get the good and the bad. You Absolutely. can't turn around and say, oh, you know what? I agree. You know, as a fan, you probably say, you know what? I ain't watching. I ain't watched match of the day for weeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, the other day when we won yeah. in the semi final, that's the first time I'll be watching games highlights a few days afterwards. Yeah. that's how bad it's been. I can't even do but that. But you can't you can't turn around and say, right, match of the day, don't show it. Right, because you're going to embarrass us because we lost six nil mm. or something like that. Yeah, you know, in this modern world, everything's you know, on record. It's on, re- you know, even if you saw the abuse that Spurs were getting on, you know, on Saturday from different various fans, you can't stop that. That's just no. how it is. I guess in the same way you can turn off match of day, you also don't have to go on YouTube or you don't have to. Yeah, do exactly. Social media. It's exactly it's that. You don't a, have to. You don't a, have to. We're, we're in a world where, unfortunately, people outsource responsibility for their own happiness to other things that are outside of themselves. Yeah. This is a fact. Be it people that get obsessed with a certain t- celebrity, certain TV show, or their football team. Yeah. And ultimately, if that football team, if bad things happen to that football team, then some people they go out and do other bad things because they can't handle that stress because they've placed too much of an emphasis on the result of that football team. That's kind of what happens. So there's people that are going to be just pissed off regardless. Yeah. The Arsenal fan TV thing, it's just like, it's just there, you know what I mean? That would have been a newspaper article before or a radio station phoning or something. Fans' opinions, or it would have been going to the pub after the match. And people might go, in the old former days, you might just go, do you know what? I'm not going to go to the pub after the game because I, I can't know. be asked to be in there. Yeah. I just wanna, so I'm, I'm just driving gonna, down there I'm today. I'm just going to go home and fucking, you know, and play on the Xbox or so whatever. I, yeah, no, I was driving it's to the... It's a choice. I was driving to the airport today to pick my dad up, right, um, Gatwick, and I, I was listening to Talk Sport and I heard a fan who was saying that, you know, Pep Guardiola, he was slating Pep Guardiola, a Man City fan, he's a big head, he said, and, uh, you know, he thinks he they should get rid of him because of... Listen, fans have their opinions, you know mm. what I mean? So... But, so, well, that's the other. You know, thing. it's like if if that person was an Arsenal fan or an Arsenal fan TV now, everybody would be saying this yeah. and that. You know, I heard the other day, was it Jeff Stelling mm. on Sky, right? Oh, yeah. Respected journalist, right? Call for the manager of the, I think it's uh, who's he support? Is it uh, Hartlepool? Hartlepool. Yeah. He said it. He said um, he wants Dave Jones out. Yeah. And people he, people slate off. People be slagging off guys like. Uh, yeah, he's been sacked now. Yeah. People be slagging off guys like DT. They'll be slagging off people like DT and this and that on, yeah. on Arsenal Fan TV and Troops. Why you got these guys on? This guy's on Sky. And he loves he's the main jobs. presenter. <laughs> right? He's a main presenter. And he said, I want him out. Yeah. He's got to go tonight. Right? Yeah. The presenter said that. Right? Now, we get stick. Right? We would get stick for something like, for having a fan on who said Wenger should be out. What about things like, you know, I mean, this is what I'm saying. It's not a fair playing field when it comes to us. People, like, treat us differently. It's like media, that's why. You know, mm. so, you know, I think people need to, to, to have a bit of a perspective on this. And do you know why he said that? Because he's a passionate fan yeah. of Hartlepool. Yeah. You know, and he just said something in the heat of the moment. And he said he probably shouldn't have said it as a presenter on TV, um, uh, but in the heat of the moment, yeah. that's he said, that's he, what, he said. He said what he felt. Yeah, that's yeah. when you're a football fan. And, that's what and, it does and this to is you. the thing, right? You're never going to get all fans to agree either, both on players that should be in there or managers. Yeah. No, like, like we had one on on Saturday, so we got pumped at home by Fulham four one. If we'd have won, I think we'd have been in the playoffs, mm. right? Fulham are going to 
Fulham have now beaten. They are the beaters nine one mm. on aggregate this season. So I'm wow. slightly worried about seeing them in the playoffs. We're running out of steam. It's over. Everyone's been on the journey. Now you're it's relaxing over. before the playoffs. No, nah, it's over. It's, it's <laughs> over. But anyway, during the game, so Leeds who had dropped out of the playoff places, they were losing away at Burton two 0 and Huddersfield fans, bear in mind that we've fallen down after about half an hour. Right, and this is now in the second half. Huddersfield fans and Fulham fans were all having this big sing song uh, to the Joy Division Love Will Tear Us Apart tune, <laughs> going Leeds, Leeds are falling apart <laughs> again. So all the fans, everyone's having this big sing song, right? Yeah. We're falling down at home, remember, in a six pointer that would have sealed us in the playoffs. Mm. And afterwards, on Down at the Mac, the Huddersfield Town Forum, which is like an Arsenal fan TV, but one from mm. 20 years ago, that's still there, because <laughs> there's no Huddersfield fan TV, Town fan TV, I'd like one, but there isn't, um, and on this thing, everyone's going around, some people are going, it's Tim Pot, it's fucking Tim Pot, what you're doing, it's embarrassing that you're singing about Leeds when we're losing 4-1, so everyone, you know, mm. this is an Arsenal fan, this is a fan, internet forum over here, talking about fans' behaviour in the stadium, Football, it's always going to do this thing. It's just a part of the game, so I think yeah. we've just got to accept it. Yeah. However, and then if you amplify that at Arsenal, the fact that you know we've had the same manager for a very long time, we've had a lot of defeats, like yeah. the Bayern Munich one, we've yeah. seen that before, and think, yeah. you amplify that frustration by 10 times, right? So you'll have a fan, will pull out a banner at the end of the game, saying that he's right behind Arsene Wenger. Another fan will see that. What have you got that up for? And they yeah. start arguing a little... It's like you do seem People to don't very, understand. There's been a volatile lot... volatile fan base. Yeah, but, it's, but, but the reason it's been building for a long yeah. time, it's not... People think like, oh, it's just a summit that's happened this year. Yeah. This has been building for a long it has. time. If Remember, think... when was the last time we won the league? Yeah. And we went into a new stadium being told that, listen, we're going to be in 10 years' time, we're going to be in a new Bayern Munich. Then you get done. 10-2 on aggregate by yeah. them. People are going to be frustrated. You can't expect them to come out and be, ah, oh, it's all But good. the way that Wrighty was treated, I, th I felt was kind of wrong. Like, the, mm. do you remember him getting trolled? We, we did it on a podcast yep. in, the, in the Euros. I remember, I remember that podcast you did with Wrighty, you know, and, and he was even at the time saying he's coming off Twitter and everything. Because did, yeah. Just because he gave his opinion, and the one thing I love about Wrighty, he's always honest yeah. in his opinion. And... Because he's so honest in his opinion, people will have a go at him. Oh, yeah. you're not being loyal. And it's no, it's because people, he is so loyal. Yeah, he is so in love with the club that he he, he wears his heart on his sleeve. It, you know, it, it, some people can't see past that blind loyalty. Mm. If if anything's critical, they just can't handle it, and, yeah. and that's ultimately where a lot of this then resentment builds from. But what they also people kind of don't like, which is something we've 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 seen a lot this year, is that people don't like fans to have anything to build anything people don't like that they don't mm. mind if it's journalists that have got channels and that have got opinions and stuff like that but mm. they kind of don't like it when it's fans and I think that that's what this little revolution that's been going on mm. you know what we stand for Redman Toffee West Ham all the mm. boys that, that are in the Ball Street Network it's that's what we kind of believe isn't it some more power to the Ball Street Network we're part of it as well we've been um, listen I think it's a great thing that you've got all these channels from all these football clubs. And every single one of them are passionate fans. I know, obviously, Paul and those guys, Redmen TV, Toffee, West Ham, you know, 100% Chelsea, all these guys, they're passionate mm. about their club, yeah? And they're giving up a lot of their time and yeah. effort. They're not making no, no... People think they're making wads of money. They're not. Right, they're not. They pay for their own tickets, just like we do. You know, more power to this, you know what I mean? And what makes me laugh sometimes, right, is that you'll have people saying, oh, I don't like this modern media, but then they've just tweeted about it. <laughs> what did you use to tweet? Yeah. Modern media, mm. you know? So it's... it's well, do, you, do you still enjoy it? I love it. Do you? I love it. I love it. I love going to watch Arsenal. Um, it's been, it ain't been great this season, but I still get a buzz from going to watch Arsenal. No, I know. And getting I, to watch I still, Arsenal, but the work you do, do you? Enjoy I love it? the work I do. I love it. I love it. You know, doing what you know, being able to do this now full time. Um, it's like this is I what, love it. Of it's like a do, dream. This is what the whole holy grail of life is to actually be able to make money in a capitalist society where money's a fact, we can't fucking change that, you can't opt out and go live in a fucking hedge, do you know what I mean? You have to ultimately be able to buy things and transact things by money, right? There's a whole game going on. So if you can actually find a, a, 
where you can make money out of what you're passionate about, mm. that's great. Well fucking done, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Why are people, I don't understand why people want you to, oh, 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 hang on a minute. You fucking, you're making money out of your passions. That's not on, what the fuck? Yeah, so Seriously. that's what I'm saying. It's like, what, like, could that, everything you said, that's the old owner game. But how, how can you do something that you enjoy and make a living out of it? That's what everyone strives to do. But, 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 but Robbie's having to contend with, with something else on top of that, which is people being abusive. But that's yeah, but you know what, like right? Hold pe- other do, you, back. do you know what, right? It's a tiny percentage, right? Now, I mean, sorry, it's, I it's, it's like going into a restaurant, right? And fucking marching into the kitchen. Oh, chef, you money maker. <laughs> oh, do, you fucking love making food, don't you? Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Getting paid to make food? It's madness. But no, you know what? Listen, right? It is madness. When I go to a game... And, and sorry again, Rob, because I'm super passionate about this because we've been fighting for this for a long time. Mm. You know, P- Paul, Chris, they've been doing that for seven years. They've been yeah, doing Redman TV. Guys, man. They have not sitting here well, making money. They have mm. worked hard. Robbie is... And they still seen, work hard. Yeah, and they still work hard. Robbie is dedicated. He's hustled harder on his side job. Then, then I'm telling you, all these people that are coming out of the pub and going, oh, no, it's not fan TV, that the Nev works probably on their main job. Well, a lot of, when a lot of those fans are going to the pub, we still got work They're to working. do. They're on a, working. On a midweek game, we'll get home like three, four o'clock in the morning. You never fancy just go, Okay, no, yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. I mean, sometimes, listen, sometimes we do, we, we do some of the editing yeah. um, at the pub, sometimes, you know what I mean? But even then, I've got to get everything done first before I can have a drink. I, I you know, I, I love what I'm doing, and I don't really worry about the negativity. You know what I mean? Because I, the amount of people that come up to me and give me encouragement and say to me they love what we're doing, keep doing it. The amount of emails we get, the amount of respect we get. Listen, if I get as some people coming up to me and having a go and saying they don't like what I do, I listen to what they got to say. Yeah. Those guys that I had that little beef with, right? I've se- I've, I've I've spoken to them. There's some, you, you know what? You speak they, to them face to face or on the phone? I spoke to one of them face to face the other day and I spoke to another one of them on the phone and do you know what? Um, the, 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 they even, a couple of points they made, I might even take a couple of those things on board, yeah? Right, because I listen to people. I'm, I'm, I'm not just gonna just like, if, if people mean? come, so like uh, w- w- one of the fans, uh, one of the guys was saying to me, he goes, why don't you go to sometimes to pubs and interview some fans after the game? I said, I actually said to him, you know what? That That's actually great. not a bad shout. Mm, yeah. And it's something that we might do, yeah? At the moment, we haven't got the manpower to do it. But yeah. I said to him, it's something we're going to look into doing next season. It's actually a good idea, yeah, yeah. right? Listen, if people come up to me and they, they, they're dealing with me with respect and they're going to talk to me and they can criticise me, they can say what they don't like about Arsenal Fan TV. We're still learning as well because, you know, remember... This thing has blown up. We're kind yeah. of like at the forefront of it. Us red men, yeah. guys like that. We're learning on our feet with a lot of these things, yeah. right? So, uh, so uh, I'm not uh, gonna uh, t- I'm not gonna say that everything we do is perfect. So if somebody comes up to me and says, like like a guy who came up to me earlier on in the season said, Robbie, he goes, I care one thing. I don't. Fans can have a go at Wenger, but directly like straight abuse on him. Mm. I don't like that because I don't think that's right. And I went away and I thought about it. I was like, actually, he's right. Mm. If fans come on, they can <laughs> say their piece. They can have a go at Wenger, but you shouldn't abuse him. Yeah. So if you notice, like, you know, I, I, I now I will say to people, no, you can't directly, you know, like, you know, you can't be calling somebody, Wenger, you see, or something like yeah. that. We're not going to put that out. You know what I mean? If you, you can have a go, you can say about his tactics, you can have a go, you can be very angry, mm. but, you know, have a bit of respect. So we're taking things on board, you know, come to me, talk to me, but respectfully. I mean, <laughs> don't step to me like that. Yeah. But come to me respectfully and talk, and we listen, man. I mean, we're, we're, you know, I'm, you know, so I, I always tell people, man, we ain't North Korea fan TV, right? You know, we, we, we try to make fans come on and have an honest opinion. And that's what we want to do. We're not against Arsenal Football Club. We're for the club. And as I said, the mood can change on results sometimes. If you see the semi-final, yeah. where we interview, that's another criticism. It's the same fact. This girl said to me, I was over in Germany. She said, oh, it's the same fans, Robbie, you interview. I said, no. I go, we've got some fans. Yeah. They're very, very popular. People want to hear from them every week. Right? Uh, a couple of weeks ago, troops were sick. We didn't... Um, he didn't come to the game. We were inundated with emails. Well, why didn't you interview troops? Right? 
So that's why he's a regular. People like to hear what he's got to say. That's what. But he's not the only person we interview. So no. she was like, "Oh, it's the same people, Robbie." I said, no, actually, it's not. No. I go, if you look at most You're games, we interview about 20. She goes, oh, well, I only get it on my Facebook feed. Oh. I don't follow you. So I said, well, then yeah. that's why. You're, yeah. you're probably receiving through a lot of yeah. them. I go, why don't you come over onto the channel? And that's the thing. I and go through. I go, you ain't got to watch DT Troops if you don't want to. Watch some of the other guys. You know, but what can you do? You know, I mean, you can only, there's a lot of uh, myths out there. You can only, like, just say to people, watch. You can only go by... And, and then sometimes you have to look at the popularity of the thing. You have to look at the feedback you're getting and weigh it all up. And I know that the feedback that we're getting is brilliant at the moment. So I think as well, <clears> and, and this is the point that you, know, you mentioned, uh, Loz, uh, we had him on the podcast and, and we discussed some of this stuff. And um, I, I made the point to him um, at, at that time, which was like Arsenal Fan TV and uh, was started ultimately in the time outside of your job and your family life. Mm. So it's not like you're sitting here and it's not like, unfortunately, we're not able, you know, we're all fighting to make ends meet, you know, we're all mm. small businesses that are fighting mm. to kind of, to, to do the things that we want to do. It's not like you can just, ah, oh, let's do that, or let's do that because you're Sky, you've got huge resources. And there's a distinction between some of the media channels that are like the Fremantle channels, um, like your coppers, whereby they've been backed, where they've started mm. from a position of, we're experts in production, we've got legal teams, we've got all this infrastructure mm. around us now, let's deploy that infrastructure against fan media and build a channel. That's what some people have done that have had money, but we're the other way around. That's what Loz has done. Well, that's what, that's what, <laughs> that's what he's done. done. Yeah. So it's, that's it's, what I find, you know, you know so, so it, um, it's, it's, I don't want to be here having a, just, having a go, and I, you know, he's asked me to come on to their podcast before, and I, I will come on there, go on there one day, but I just didn't get some of his criticism mm. the other day but especially that's... when like you said like when I think that you know he hasn't really come from it from the side where we've come from where no. we've had to build this from zero up yeah with no help you know with no help apart from and, each other yeah sharing the odd you know, bit of, and uh turn your camera around it'll... yeah <laughs> and do you know what listen Use that laptop listen uh... we, we I think we're changing the game yeah definitely you no know, and I'm proud of that you yeah. know what I mean I'm proud of that you know, we're changing the game. We're doing things differently. Mm. I like doing things differently sometimes. Me too. I don't, I don't want to just follow the book on yeah. media. Yeah. I'm coming my own book. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Well, that will be an interesting conversation if it ever, ever goes down. Um, I'm sure. You know, because, and, and sure that's the thing, it's perspective. And I think that that's what you, you've got to realise. Loz has come from that perspective. He sees it that way. You know, yeah, he's come from that. a, he's come from you know, a media... Uh, a media background you know I know you know he's a very good editor yeah very good um, you know producer whatever but that's you know, doing he, it got, his, he does it his way yeah I do it my way yeah well go yeah, my definitely. way ain't bad it's you know quite a few people well, don't mind you, it um, huh? definitely it's touch like, base and, and maybe go and yeah. go on to Geordie or something yeah, you know, we, we spoke, listen, I've spoken, Geordie's a cool guy, you know, I respect what he's done, you know what I mean, and look what he's built, you know, it's been amazing, you know, so, you know, I, I, I respect, I re, listen, I respect all the, the people in this space, I, yeah. I, I particularly respect the fan channels, because um, they're out there, in the field, Yeah, they're out there on the streets, they're not man. just in the bedroom making videos about Yeah, the yeah, 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 and I'm telling yeah. you, right, when you've got to get out there, in the field, that's the hardest part. Yeah. Because, you know, and you get one chance when you're yeah. out there. You know, you, you, you're doing a video in the studio or you're doing a video in your yeah. bedroom, you can do all these jump cuts and you can do all yeah. this. Well, like, edit. When you're out there on the street, man. Yeah. You ain't no jump cuts, but, you know what I mean? I love a jump cut. <laughs> but, but, but it's also, if, like, if you think about it, I'm not being funny, but, and, and I'm not against that podcast in any way, shape or form. I don't know Jordy. I know Loz, I don't know Jordy, but what, what Jordy's done is amazing. You know, he's mm. a guy who's who's uh, has been always been very authentic from what I can see and has done fantastic uh, work. Um, but you know, I've seen them have KSI on and some mm. huge YouTubers like that. Now, I don't know. I I've, I didn't watch the KSI chat. I oh, didn't see, I didn't watch it. Very but, interesting. But, but did I mean did they get under his skin about? about rape face and about some of the things that's no. gone wrong in KSI's they did listen because, they... because KSI's been on a journey mm. making videos from his bedroom and making mistakes as he's gone. And yes, he's created this super huge channel as have the Sidemen, as have Spencer, as have a load of different people. 
But they've all, I'm sure they'll all sit there and have made mistakes and have learned as they mm. go. But that's a very different journey to actually a media company that's got infrastructure going, right, let's pay people to do X, let's pay people to do Y. You know, it's mm. a very different thing. I've got mad respect for guys like KSI of and course. Sidemen. And I, I know those guys, met them. Their work rate, again, yeah. is unreal. You know, and as I said, they built gets, something. Spencer gets hate. Spen- Spencer Why does Spencer get hate? Hard. You know, you know what, right? That's again, again. That's when I, when now I'm starting to understand some of the hate when I, when I get a bit of it, because I look at Spencer and I'm like, why does Spencer get hate? Look what the guy's built, man. It's yeah. not, look, uh, why, why don't people? Why don't people? There is an answer why don't people go to Spencer? The reason why. The no, reason but, why, just before you tell me the, the answer, why don't people go to Spencer and say, Spencer, can I get some advice? And how you have managed to build what you've built. Because it's incredible. Mm. The Spencer FC Mate. football thing. It's unreal what he's the guy's the done. Going to America. Yeah. Is like his team, you know, the sidemen, they got a game at Charlton. Sold they out. sold it out. Yeah. Charlton haven't sold a game out this season. <laughs> now to me, I, you've got to admire stuff like that, man. What yeah. am I what are you gonna hate on yeah. something like that? No, no, absolutely don't don't you, you shouldn't hate on the success and other people's hard work. And and I don't think that's the origin of where this, this What is it then? Tell me. Well, we've we I think with Spencer and, and, and some of the stuff around West Ham, some sections of West Ham fans didn't like what he was doing and what he was about because Why? he came from a YouTube it's because they don't understand it. They don't they're, it's not something they're comfortable with. They're like the su- oh, I'm not gonna no, fuck it. They like jelly deals. They like beer. They like- <laughs> hey, watch it. He's coming from a Tottenham angle now. They, on the, you know on the what I'm talking about fans. though. They, they, they're, they're a certain breed of fan, and anything new. So that's where it, you say you don't. Yeah, but understand then that's it, hate, but that's though, isn't it? That's, that's, uh, that's not it understanding from. something and disliking it. It's hate because you don't understand it. It's yeah. just that's hating. Right, but that's where right? it comes you from. Need, you need to, you need to, you need to then understand it and say to yourself, you cannot like something. But you have to. But you can rate. So, so with me. Right, there's there's certain music I don't like, but I respect when I see those guys right that in doing certain genre of music. Yeah. I'm like, it's not for me. But yeah, I've got mad respect for those. But look what yeah. they built, man. They built that group, you know, and look where they are. Any o- any you overnight know? success even has taken a lifetime of work to build. Yeah. Right? Anybody that breaks through and does something, they've worked hard. Yeah. And when because we've done this and we've tried to do X and we've tried to do Y through our Ball Street journey. It made me look at other people's things a bit differently yeah. because even if I think something is shit, I'd have missed the point. You know that it's taken a hell of a lot of work just to get something. That guy KSI used to, to get, get so much something hate, yeah. to happen. You know Whether what I mean? You think KSI shit, used to get subjective. It doesn't yeah. mean it is shit. It's just KSI, opinion, right? Yeah. As an example, that guy. Oh, I okay, that guy getting so much hate. I remember one day I sat down with that guy. Right, he was on this shoot for a video. And when the guy's telling me the work he puts in, man, I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, that made me go away and think, you know what? Even I need to up my game. Yeah. And I thought, I was like, yo, yeah, I, think, yeah. I thought I was putting work in. Yeah. But compared to this guy, if I want to get to those levels, yeah. right? Because I'm looking at these guys, and, I, and that's how I look at these guys. I, I, look, I look at guys like Spencer, I look at guys like KSI, Sidemen, these guys, and I'm like, how can I get to it? Because I'm not at their level, no. right? How can I get to their level on YouTube? Because these guys are the main guys, they're the forerunners. My style's different, they, their style's different, but what tips can I take? Of course. What is it that those guys do that have made them so popular? What, yeah. what, what, you know, how, how yeah. can I, what little things can I learn off of them? Yeah. And I think it's, you know what, my, my son, he plays football. Mm. It's the same thing I tell him. I'm like, look at players. Fortunately, my, my, my son, right? I mean, he's only, he's, he's doing, well, he's, he's doing it. He just signed for MK Duns so last, last week, right? And it, when, at least when, that's not as much petrol money, Rob. Is it? <laughs> not as much petrol money. <laughs> and when, when he signed for them last week, one of the things the coaches were drilling into them is like, look at other players. Look at Deli Ali, who's yeah. come all the way through the system. Yeah. Work hard. You know, you may have to do work sometimes, yeah. like practice at home. Don't just. It's, it's like, not just it, the four like, days a week you do here. Practice. It's like you need to have talent, or you know, in football, or you need to have the charisma. I guess in YouTube or something mm. like that, but. That's not enough. You need to have the hard work. And there's a lot of people that just can't wow. put in that work. There's a lot of people that want to go and get pissed. Bank all the weekend. They want to spend it all weekend getting pissed. You know, they want to sit there and just play computer games or or, or just like hang out. You do, you know. Whereas the, anybody that's doing something that's getting somewhere, it's, I'll tell you what. I would say I would say a hundred times out of a hundred, they fucking earn it. They really have. I've been in games in Europe, right? And so many fans, right? I've been like, Robbie, come and have a drink, mate. It's on us. And I'm so tempted, right? 
But then you just have to say, you know, I've got there's then like millions of people waiting for these videos to come out. We've got to yeah. do this now. You know, it's you, you've got to put it in, man. Yeah. You've got to put it in. You do. And um, listen, you know what? All the hate and whatever, I just think a lot of it goes with the territory. Mm. A lot of it goes with the territory. It's it's people hate on you sometimes at A Flow. And I know Percy, even though he's a Tottenham fan, he's actually a very nice guy. But people were hating. I know. I also think the same about Robbie. On, on <laughs> until was, Sunday. Mind Instagram. you, until Sunday, that is. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, you're a good, <laughs> so you're go a good geezer. Questions, Flav. Can I just quickly say congratulations to Adam on uh, Brentford beating QPR 3 1? Smashed it. Hey, hold on, wait a minute. No, no, wait a minute. Huh? I can't hate on QPR, man. I oh, you don't have to hate him, just saying when, when I was growing up, that was my local team. Really, like they lived, you know, you just, that was. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, Alright, got some pod questions. West London Derby. Pod questions, a couple. Uh, so, is it acceptable? This is from Emmett Floyd. This is, is it acceptable or okay to want a player to not. Is it okay for to not want a player to succeed at your club? <laughs> or does it not? Or does it make you a bad. Fucking hell, man. Basically, he doesn't <laughs> That's like. That's written small, isn't it? He, he doesn't like Jack Grealish. Yeah. Right? And he doesn't, he, he, he thinks, he just, he's a Villa fan, he, he has no time for Jack Grealish. Is it okay to feel like that about one of your own players? Wow. Yeah, it is. Go on, but who, who, do you, who do you hate at Arsenal? I don't hate any of the players well, at the club. I don't know, it kind of felt like he was about oh, to To be honest, no, I don't, I don't. I don't really hate the players you ever? at the club. You ever hate on your own players? Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've had players, mate, over the years, I've like, yeah, oh, man, just, ah. Oh. Terrible. I mean, to answer you know? the question, I mean, you don't admit it. You don't openly go, I yeah. hate him, I want him out of my club when he's trying. Mm. Like, if, he's, if, he, if he disrespects your club or your shirt, like Hossam Ghali did at Tottenham, where he got yeah. substituted mm. and he picked up, pulled the shirt off and just threw it, you're done. Yeah. You're never coming back on again. Quite a sensible guy, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, you know what? What you said there's so true, it's right? It's sometimes it's about how hard, even if you're having a bad game, at least make an effort. I think. Mm. Fans in this country, is there's one thing we hate is when you've got players where you can clearly see they can't be asked. I was surprised about the reaction to yeah, Bellerin. Yeah. Like, Bellerin seemed like one of your own kind of things. No, nah, that Bellerin thing the other day, right? No, no, no. Just nah. so people don't know, Palace, he got kind of booed or something? Or was he just the nearest So to the... Yeah, I was, I, if I explain what happened, yeah. I don't think it was really aimed at Bellerin. I think he just got it because he was the nearest He's player. The right back, yeah. Because what happened was, is... Um, Fans were singing, you're not fit, fit to wear the shirt to all the players, yeah. right? And then like there was a, the ball got kicked out and he was the right back. He went to take the throw in and like a load of fans held on to the ball. They wouldn't give it back. Oh. And then they all started singing, you're That's not wrong. fit. But I think it was aimed at all the players, but because he was yeah, right there, yeah, yeah. he got it. But then the very next game, everybody was singing his name. Everybody, because we, we love Bellerin. Yeah. We do love him, but he, he was just unfortunate. You know, a great wrong point... place at the wrong time. You know, a great point was right made to me. For <laughs> I was chatting to a mate of mine as a Spurs, happens to be a Spurs fan yesterday, and he said to me, he goes, Robbie, do you reckon that it's the stick that the players got direct that sort of changed their attitude over the past couple of games? And I was like, you make a good point. Well, because Arsene Wenger was on the Because Wenger's been the one who's been yeah. getting it all the time. He's been okay. the one taking all the heat. But that game in particular, it weren't about Wenger. It's the, the players. players. It was like all, you. All and ever since that, that, ever since that game, yeah. Even like in, even at the end of uh, the next game against Middlesbrough, every player came over and clapped the fans at the end of the game. You just won. They, ca- <laughs> huh? You just won again. We just won, but still, it didn't play that well either. It's even really- at the end of that Palace game, a lot of the players came up. Most of the players what came was over. The reaction? It was a bad reaction, but they still came over. I think they have to. The penny dropped with them that they, they were like, "Hey, yeah. hold on a minute." We need to start yeah. up in our game, you know, because the fans are actually they're not holding up against Wenger no more. They're not. They're on about yeah. us. So you know, maybe that well, was as they say, success has many fathers, but failure has none. And and actually, maybe they've just been sitting there quite happy for it to be about Wenger in, Wenger out, and yeah. they can just because they have been getting away with it a lot of the players, and it has been. That's what I was saying earlier. Wenger like that, Matt. takes a lot of the heat. Mm-hmm. You know, he, you know, he, in all fairness to him, he takes a lot of the heat sometimes, and. That day, they, they, they got it direct. Yeah. I'm right. Listening. So cool. we've got here, uh, let's not do... Uh, Luke, we've got L Jarvis, 27. Yep. You can change three things about Arsenal or football in general. What things do you want to change? Pod questions. What three things would you change about football in general? Uh, have you got any? Because I can start. So you can give you some time <laughs> to think. I would list them. I've got any. I mean, one of them I'd like to change is the atmosphere of football grounds now. I'd, l- I'd love to see terraces 
yeah. safe standing come yeah. into football with you it'd be brilliant you know what so I mean? unanimous Agreed. one 100% yeah. so that's what one. next Rob what was you going to give me uh, I was going to say um, uh, gold, Cheer- gold music cheerleaders gold music <laughs> <laughs> no, more, gold. more cheerleaders no, no, cheerleaders, no, no, no. cheerleaders, no, no. cheerleaders down the side music. of the gold music gold music oh gold music you're like your team just scored I don't, I, yeah, this I don't is like an exciting moment for me I don't need some fucking orchestra Telling me how long to celebrate. For you know what? The or... worst one for that, right, is when we played uh, Bayern Munich the other day. Yeah. They got some guy. They some, Dortmund uh, do as well. So they play lots of music, but they play lots of music. But then the guy, now, he proper piss take, right? He goes, he goes, ah, da, da, says something in German, and he goes, he goes, Bayern Munich five, <laughs> Arsenal of London. <laughs> and then everyone just went, whoa. <laughs> Fans were like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Such a wild <laughs> You know what I mean? Wait, I, I was like, know. hey. Dude, What's going on here? <laughs> Things like that are brilliant. I remember once going to Wickham, right? And, and and we played Wickham Wanderers away. It's an horrible place to go. And it was Leon Knight was playing for us at that time, right? You know Leon Knight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had him yeah, on loan. Right. He was fucking amazing, by the way. But he was very small. And we had quite a small team. And I remember we uh, were, we were terrible at defending corners at the time. Comes to the corner, right? And uh, so I'm just sitting there thinking, oh, God, it's a corner. You know, not because this. And then all of a sudden they started playing... Like the tension music, like boom, 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 like building up. You know what you'd get like in a movies where like the like like what is playing? Like where the Indians get you and they're gonna put you in a pot and like the movies. Do you know what I mean? Well, they're playing out of the speakers. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got this music. So it's like it's terrifying as it is, but they're playing this music and every time they get a corner, it's like dum, dum, like this drum roll beating up. It was fucking it was terrifying. It's so out of order. That's, that is my, num- but, but, what my, I, num- my number three one has got to be. It's got to be. There needs to be a more focus on fans. Uh, football is too much focus on money nowadays. I'd love to see it a bit like Germany, mm. where the fans own. It's never going to happen, but you know, like over there, where fans 51%. own them, fifty-one percent of the club. Yeah, you know, I'd love that over here. You know, what I mean, RB this Leipzig. is unless you RB Leipzig, yeah. yeah. No, but th- you know, I, it's. I think we can play a role in that, though. I think we're going to create this big fan media company that's going to do great things, and it's going to exert pressure on the game. And mm. go into bat for fans. So I think from a different angle. Yeah, because so yeah, I mean, because fans just get treated so bad, so bad. You as know? as I, I like to say about it, they, they fans pay for everything. They pay for the tickets. They pay for uh, the shirts. They provide the atmosphere. They're the ones that all that all uh, that, that provide everything. The subscriptions, you know. But ultimately, there's they, no they, football without they get fans. nothing. There's no football without they get nothing. They get nothing. So if it's a table, we put all the food on the table, but the people sitting around the table, it's the players, it's agents, mm. it's the broadcasters, it's the clubs, it's the leagues. They're all sitting there ordering champagne, ordering caviar, pouring crystal on the floor, and <laughs> the fans aren't allowed in, even though we mm. paid for the whole thing. I mean, little things like, so you know, it, change, even the yeah. other day when I was, uh, we did a little thing on Borussia Dortmund, and when you see that their fans, the fans and the players are so connected. Yeah. yeah. You know, Lovely. they 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 get to go to watch them train and things. You, you never see also when you go up near the training ground. Trust me, it's like going up to a military base. Yeah, I know. You know, yeah. that's the um, clappers, clappers, you mate. That's <laughs> Vuvuzela. Vuvuzela. If you can't create an atmosphere, you don't get an atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. You don't can... just the club go. Oh, do that Leicester atmosphere is oh, all right. Mate. What? Because there's a clappers. He hates Leicester. They're cheap. They're doping. <laughs> he's, they're, he's, they're doping the atmosphere. He can't forgive Leicester for last I, year. I hate them. I want. I yeah, want them I, listen, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like the clappers, but you, you have to admit it does create a little of bit. Course, of it's work. easy. It's when you just get the fucking clappers. Like, oh, oh, we're on the tack. Quick clap. <laughs> Sing some songs or get the fuck out. <laughs> it's a fake atmosphere. Yeah. I, I, I like to see injuries go actually. Cause just get injuries, rid of them. Yeah, injuries ruin football. It's always such a shame where. There's a big game, there's a big moment, and then a player's out. At the moment, Casey Palmer on loan to us from it's Chelsea. <laughs> He's out, it's fucked us. Welcome yeah, to our world, mate. Arsenal. Awesome. Arsenal no, really, Football Club. Really, 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 That's no, no, another no, no, one. No. Get Wait, Arsenal Football Club yeah. out of football. Welcome to our world, it, like listen, we're in your world. We can't then bring you the off the bench. We're fucked without Casey Palmer. God, listen, Arsenal would be, say some it'd be so boring if Arsenal weren't around, wouldn't it? Come oh, on. We could do without Spurs, though. It would be funny. You know we could do without Spurs. No, but be honest now. You know in football, you could never do it at Arsenal. Why? You can't talk right? to Flav like this on his podcast. But you do so know. Just walk in here and start Everyone in this those. room knows you could have a league without Spurs in it. You could have a league without you Arsenal. You wouldn't be missed. Better sport. You wouldn't be you. missed. We'd be missed. You got the bastards of football. Everyone knows. Our beautiful knows football that we played over the years. Oh, that bollocks. So, so is history. Barcelona. So is Barcelona. Our Your history. Fans. You're from our, South our, London. Huh? You're a South our London history. Go back to Plumstead. 
No, we're from London. We run we're London. We're London. all London. Oh, we London is red, mate. Get press stop. Right, you lot from Edgware. Press stop immediately. You're from Edgware, mate. I'm going to lose my I shit. I command you. <laughs> You're from Edgware. Right, Edgeway. guys. Go Nobody would miss Spurs. Be honest. I would would you? Would you miss Spurs? Of course you would. Of course I would. Because you're not going to no, be... No, you're only saying that. No, Rob, be honest. No, 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 I'll tell you I want you to be 100% honest. I would. Who would miss Batman Arsenal? needs if the Spurs, Joker. If Spurs weren't around for a season, honestly, would anybody... One season, would anybody <laughs> miss them? If Arsenal weren't around for a season, people would be like, what the hell? What? No, come on. Oh, shut We're up, We're missing Rob. the style of football. You're talking, the fact, the, 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 you're talking these, nonsense. If you lot disappear for the, one season, nobody would one miss day you. Where Arsenal go out of business, no, it'd be the happiest day of my business. life. The happiest day <laughs> We'd of never go out of business. <laughs> That's one thing. You know what? We could get relegated, right? <laughs> we could flop, right, and play football on the pitch. We would never go out of business, right? That's one thing we're good at. We're good at making right. money. <laughs> we need to also be good at naming our top five because we've got this thing called top five now. What happened? Right. Well, the way it works is that people give us their top five subjects. So it's like top five pizza toppings or top five <laughs> left backs. And what we do is we then give them uh, top five. We top then five. give them a top okay. five. So we had a load of these, but the one that the the, the, the this is what Aston Villa. Which is um, the club, the whole club, <laughs> the whole club sent yeah. this. So thank you guys for taking time to get yeah. around a laptop Just because of training your football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No wonder you've you've struggled this year. Um, so what they what they, what Aston Villa wants to know is top five hip hop slash rap artists. Ooh. Clearly, Number and, one and he's talking to, well, he's talking to me, me, me and Flavia. Clearly, both in touch with the hip hop and rap game. Your opinion would be much appreciated. Papa bless. Hashtag pod questions. Hashtag top five. Number one, Crucial Robbie. No, I was reggae. Yeah, but... No, it's hip-hop, man. It's yeah, hip-hop. Yeah, it's Get with the game, man. Yeah. See, this compliment. is why it's a good thing I'm here, man. Just trying to pay your bloody compliment. Right. Top biggie. Tough. Yeah. Notorious B.I.G. So number he, one. I was number trying one. to think, like, is this past or new? Because, you know, it's difficult. Not but new, got so I, I, I did both. I don't know any. I did both, but go on. It's a big B.I.G. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two pack number two. Yeah. Because I was, I, was I was always an East Coast guy. I mean, always... West Coast, Tupac. Yeah. Big L. Ooh. Huh? Big L. Big L. Yeah. Big L, yeah. I wouldn't put him in my... KRS-One, man. KRS-One. KRS-One, man. I mean, Original hip-hop. He's he got to be in there. He, pro- he was a bit... I mean... He's got to put a modern guy in there, maybe Drake. I, I, no? I, Drake's obviously good, but I just can't stand Drake. He's Is just, he? I, I can't stand... I'll tell you what, modern guy, I'll tell you what, okay, Chance the Rapper. Chance the Rapper is... Put you, Harry Shaw in there, man. You'll be watching the next Harry Shaw, years. Arsenal fan. Chance the rapper. Oh, you haven't got an agenda there at all. Top five Jay Huss. of all time. Jay Huss, <laughs> Arsenal fan. Lethal <laughs> Bizzle. I can't, I, in, in terms of MCs... Any you know, Arsenal fans in there? In terms of MCs and flows, there's a few old old guys from back in there. I think Chuck D, Public Enemy. Chuck D's brilliant. Man. He's yeah, fucking... Yeah, they've got to be Public Enemy. Got to be yeah, in there. but Chuck D, Chuck man. D. Also, oh. I've, I've got... Fight the in, power! Yeah, if you, if you, if you, do, you know, uh, do you remember Black Sheep? I love Black Sheep. Drez, man, yeah, from yeah. Black Sheep. He had a flow yeah. that was fucking... I heard you got the fever for the flavor. <laughs> That's the one. I heard you Hurry got up and get the scoop before it's gone. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> you don't know those two. That's what I tell you. Yeah. Tottenham, they've got no, they've got got no culture. Why is them. everything about this? <laughs> <laughs> and then, but yeah, but Chance the Rapper. I think a bit Give us one, man. I'll say Biggie, Nas, Jest. Nas is bad. You should have Skepta in there. He's a Tottenham fan, I think. Yeah, I'm not Skepta. I don't know. Kano. Uh, I like a bit of Kano, actually. Again, there, stuff like Kano that. and most, most Stack, which I don't think he'll be that well known, but most Stack. Wanna... Jest, Jest is the most undervalued, most impressive MC. Right. He should, he just, I think he's still a postman. And he, and he, he's, he's still a postman. He's like the British Nas. He's, he's that good. Yeah? Yeah, I yeah, love Nas. Check bro. it out. Where, where, where do you stand on Kanye? Nas. Uh, very far away oh, from him. Because <laughs> it's like, like he's got fucking bangers. He's a, he, he has, has got bangers. Can I give you my thoughts on and tro- he's just done. very quickly? Yeah, yeah, that's what we He's have. a troll. <laughs> he's trolling the world and I love it. Yeah, he's a troll, but... Mate, he, the world. I think with Kanye, right, he's, he's, you can't put him in that top five. He's, he makes great records, but he's not in it. He's not top five rapper, no way. I, w- I went to see because I, I used to really he's brilliant. like brilliant, he's live, he's brilliant. Yeah, well, he is mm. apart from, so I went to see him at, um, shit, what's it called? What's the one in fucking, in the park? Why is that when he had his meltdown? He had a meltdown at one. Yeah, he had a meltdown. Why can't I remember the name of the bloody, 
Wireless. Wireless, thank you. Mm. <laughs> you into wireless. Mate, it's raining. In the park. <laughs> it's raining, right? It is raining. So it's go? getting miserable. And he start. Yeah, yeah. I went. Yeah, yeah. And he. I always used to go. But he does. He does a few. A, a few. You know. Hits. Everyone's kind of dancing. And then he like slows it down, right? And he basically plays piano really slowly. I kid you not. For for forty five minutes, full forty five minutes of him just sitting by the piano, ranting. And I think it was in his head. This was art, I think. But and he was talking about how fashion has not given him his chance now. Everyone's not, not you know been mean to. It. I mean, I'm thinking, hang on a minute. What are you talking about? You've not had your chance. You're kind of like you're everywhere. Like what? The, yeah. you, you've made it right. And he's sitting there and he's talking about oh god this and that and hasn't this been hard? Forty five minutes now. During this, it's raining and people kind of get, everyone, everyone's buzz is getting a little bit like <laughs> okay. And people start to boo. Right, yeah. everyone's starting to boo. Like people are booing. It's now unanimous. You'd think that Bellerin was going to get the ball <laughs> from the crowd. People are booing, right? And he's interpreting. I can only think that in his head, he's so wrapped up in his own way of seeing things that he interprets the booing as people are like going, "Yeah, that's out of order. Boo, fashion. Boo, all these people that have not given you a chance." And it went on for forty-five minutes. And then he all of a sudden comes in and starts like hitting up a few like I just few of the tunes. And by then, I was like, I don't think I can do this now. I yeah. don't think I can get into this anymore. Yeah. You've killed it. Yeah. So he's out of touch. But I kind of feel that there's something there. He's that got he, a bad attitude. Really. He, he's got, but he has got some magic it's, it's without all a shadow of doubt. He, he, how far can I push this? I've got so big that I could do anything, and these people will still yeah. buy it. And I think he loves it. Yeah. In, in so people look back and go, that geezer was a fucking genius. Well, you are, yeah, he wasn't. He is a genius, really, but. but but not genius for the right reasons. He's just he changed the way people see celebrity, and and essentially, yeah. I think it's actually looking at him and going, "This is how, look at how ridiculous I can behave," yeah. and all of you idiots are still buying it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That, that's what I think his game is here. He is, yeah. The whole piece is a his old existence is an art piece. Yeah, that's what I feel. It is, but again, he's someone that works incredibly hard. You know, like mm. he, he, what, what he's done. You know, the easiest thing you can't knock that. If all of a sudden you've managed to kind of end up making the most desired mm. trainers sneakers, that ain't all that. there are no, but but that's what he's managed to make. No, and they're named after him. Yeah, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he ain't done bad. So yeah, done bad. Mrs. Ain't bad. I mean, he's doing oh, all right, yeah. isn't he? <laughs> okay. Well, speaking of that, birds and that. <laughs> <laughs> Birds and that. that. If you heard of this feature, you, you probably haven't listened yeah. to it. But, but uh, we we run a crusade to get Adam a, a nice young filly. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> oh. See, actually, there's, there's a blondie in the building. A blondie in the building. In this building. It's blondie yeah. in this building. Yeah. Have you not seen? No. Nah. Upstairs. I'm not seeing. I think she's from floor f two or three. We're on floor two. We're, no, no, we're first. Oh. Ground first. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's yeah, on okay. two. See her okay. passing. So she may be a bit older for Adam, but Adam might like that. You know, there's nothing wrong with them. Do you like ladies. that ad? Yeah. Not nothing wrong yeah. with mature ladies, there. No, not at all. Don't like. What's your what's your bracket like? When you're yeah, Tinder, what's the oldest? What, what, what are the what are the, <laughs> what, <laughs> what, what's the range? What's that your putting? parameters? What, what am I cool with? No, yeah. What, what, yeah, just what you tell me what you're searching what for. What do you like? swipe right on? Thirty-five. I'm fucking thirty-five. That's not <laughs> old. <laughs> thirty-five would be I'm your limit. That'd be grinder. If, yeah. you're, if you're there, no. That's a bit of 35, I what's, what's right. the lowest? Like, are you going like 25, 35, uh, or are you going like 18? You can go 45 and not have an issue. 18. 18 to 35, so he's playing. That is one broad, <laughs> that is wide. Demo. <laughs> I'm on Tinder, but that's, those are the ages I'm cool with. Right, okay. So, <laughs> I, I, you wouldn't go 45? <laughs> no, I probably would. <laughs> I like this guy. Man. No, I probably would. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so look, any more top five? You let us know what top fives you'd like to do next week. Mm. Uh, then we'd love that. That's but, good. One. But equally, um, uh, let us know what you think in terms of hip hop and, and rap, and what your top fives are. If we've missed some, because people like I, I used to like Ice Cube when I was a kid, like Lethal Injection, yeah. some of them albums. I'd it was a good day. Like he had a flow. And Oakland shout. Raiders fan as well, mm. mate. So it was shout for um, Immortal Technique. Although I talked about this on my podcast with Tony D, who destroyed you in that battle a couple of years ago. He didn't right. destroy me. Whatever, mate. He didn't. The, he didn't uh, destroy me. Whatever. The, uh, Tony D did I'm not telling you, destroy you. Your badge is a cock, and mine's a gun. Man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, you remember that line? That was a good line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Good line. Yeah. Don't do that. I'm just because he's here. If he weren't here, we'd be I'm doing just, that. We'd I'm, be doing that. I'm truthful and honest. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Right. Your pair, pair of scumbag. Um, listen, he's, what was I talking about? Yeah, more technique. Apparently, like, I rate him like so highly. And apparently, he's like over, one of the most overrated MCs around. 
What do you mean about? The internet told me after I said it. <laughs> they came and got me. The internet told me. Yeah. Big L, as you've got a lot of people saying if you like wordplay and multi syllable stuff, then Big L. So Tony D was alright, actually. Yeah, Tony D's alright. That's wordplay. Yeah, I'm doing some stuff with Tony D soon. Yeah? Mm. No. That's pretty cool. The only thing is he sports Spurs, man. That's yeah. I could have tried. I could have hooked him up, but Good no, guy. I can't deal with he him. He doesn't now. need your hookup. I can't, do, can't, so, deal, with, can't yeah. deal with him now. That was right. right. I'm only joking. He's a good guy. See you at the far post. <laughs> far post.